Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you're checking out a Logic X, a Logic Pro X uh, quick tip tutorial. So I'm going to show you how you can do a classic kind of a tape stop and a speed up effect in Logic without having to use any third party plugins or anything. It's just all native to Logic. So let's listen to this demo real quick, and we're going to apply the effect to this part of the synth region. <laughs> All right, so to do this, you have to be working with audio. So this is MIDI, so I'm gonna bounce this to audio real quick. All right, so now we have an audio track of this synth that you just heard. Okay, and if you're curious or wanna know how to make that synth, I did do a tutorial on that a little while ago. It is a uh, future bass massive synth, but just as a side note. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a tape stop and speed up effect to this section or a, a part of the audio. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna hit, I need to cut up the audio. So you cannot do this with MIDI. So this is why I had to bounce to audio. So I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard and that will bring up my toolbar or the, you know, the different tools you can use. And I need the scissor tool real quick. So I'm gonna hit five or select the scissor tool. I'm gonna chop right there. Actually, let's chop, let's chop right here. And now we're, I'm gonna make a new track just so you guys can see this really clear. So this is the, the section we're working with. Now I'm gonna hit escape again to get my tool, my tools to show up. I'm gonna either arrow down to zero or just hit zero for the fade tool. Now this is normally a crossfade tool, right? You guys will be familiar with this if you use Logic and you've ever done crossfade. You can change this to be a tape stop slow down effect or a speed up effect. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this to the ending because I want that to be a tape stop effect. I'm gonna go over to here where it says region and I'm gonna select, see where it says fade out right here? That, that's obviously a, for crossfade. I'm gonna click this, it'll drop down and now I can select slow down. All right, tape stop effect, it's that easy. Okay, so let's actually speed up this little first section of the audio here. So again, I'm gonna hit escape on my on my uh, keyboard, and I'm gonna select the crossfade tool, so which is that's zero again. And by default, because I'm starting again, this will be a fade in now because it's at the beginning of a region. So Logic will automatically t you know know if it's at the end of a region or the beginning. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the same section that we select slow down in, and we're gonna go to the fade in drop down and select speed up. It will again turn orange, indicating that it is now not a crossfade or a fade. Okay, so that is awesome. Um, it's one of my, this, this is one of my favorite features inside of Logic. I absolutely adore this feature because if I wanted to do this, I would have to use a third-party plugin like uh, Glitch or Sugarbytes Effectrix. And it's just, it's so quick and fun, I think, to play around with just, oh, I wonder if I speed this up. I wonder if I slow this down. So let's listen to this real quick. All right, so it sounds cool. It gives some new life to the end of that synth region. So yeah, it's really easy to do, guys. Just uh, use your crossfade tool, go over and select either fade, fade from fade out or fade in, select slow down or speed up. Like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, I'm Echo Sourx. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you next time, guys.